What is the difference between cheap and expensive OBD2 scanner? So first difference is that cheap scanner does not come with own software or it comes with very limiting software. For example, with cheap code reader like this, everything it does, it let you communicate only with engine control module. But if you have newer car, you have like 20 or 30 different control modules like this. And with expensive scanner, you can communicate with all of them. With software which you got in code reader, you can communicate only with that engine control module. So software in chip scanner is limited. And if you buy adapter like this, you don't even get any software. You must use some of the free OBD apps from your Play Store. And same like code reader that comes with only very limiting functions like reading and clearing engine codes and bunch of extra features, but only working for engine control module. If you want to communicate with more control modules, you have to go for paid apps or apps with recurring subscription. So in the long run, if you want to have advanced functionality, with adapter like this, it will cost you eventually more than buying expensive scanner from the start. And it is not even that expensive, it was like 320 euro. And I can connect to any control module, I can read data in all modules, do service procedures like airbag reset, battery matching, DPF regeneration, or even ECU coding, so unlocking hidden features. If I want to unlock hidden features with adapter like this, I have to buy premium Carista app and that will cost me 10 euro per month or 50 euro per year. Now another obvious difference is that expensive scanner will also comes with own device. So I already have my OBD2 software built in this tablet, which I get for price of scanner, so it is not that much expensive, but I have to pay for extra device. And yes, with adapter like this, for example Xtool A30, if I have tablet at home, I can connect it to my tablet and basically I will have very similar tool. But problem is once you are done with this, it is hard to sell adapter like this. But it is not hard to sell tool that is already built in some device like tablet scan tool. I had bunch of different scan tools and I always sold them maybe after a year of using and actually I got most of my money back. Next difference between cheap and expensive OBD2 scanner is vehicle coverage. So in every car with OBD2 system you have something called global OBD modes and that is that code reader functionality like reading fault codes, clearing check engine light, read live data from engine and that will work with any scanner for any car. So even cheap scanners like this can use all of these modes even though they cost like 5 euro. But when you start using advanced functionality like full scan, bidirectional testing, ECU coding, service procedures, all of that advanced stuff, you need to have that car model supported by your tool. So for example, this is cheap bidirectional scanner. On AliExpress you can even buy it as cheap as 30 euro, just to the ISO discount. But it supports only about 30 brands and maybe 3 service procedures. That is I think battery matching, oil reset and electronic parking brake unlock. But tool like this will support more than 100 different brands, more bidirectional tests, more service procedures, here I have 28 service procedures I can use if they are supported by that car model. The next difference is ease of use. Easiest to use is of course engine code reader. If you have some experience with OBD2 scanners, this you just plugged in and you can use it straight away. But when you want to use some advanced functionality, it will be easiest with scan tool. Connection is easy, most of car brands are supported and it is just simple to use. And plenty of times you will have instructions for performing more complicated procedures. For example, connecting to, let's say, Skoda Rapid and do some ECU coding with coding that is specific for VAC brands. It was very easy to use with this tool. But if I want to do it with tool like this, so this is for laptop, this is knockoff of some more expensive software. But if you want to have chip scanner, I spend maybe 20, 30 dollars on this, use it with laptop. But installation is complicated. You need to have separate laptop because you need to turn off antivirus. It took me like five times to install it to get it working finally. And it wasn't just this one, I can say that more expensive scanner is easier to use when it comes to more advanced functionality. Now before I continue, I don't want to make it sound like scan tool is the best you can buy, because that will be different for everyone, depending on what you need scanner for. But if you are dealing with a lot of cars, I suggest you get scan tool. I actually have best scan tool list currently, that I will link in the description. 
And if you are not sure if you should spend money on scan tool or go with a different type of scanner, I suggest you download my OBD buyer's guide. Now this is completely free, it's very short, it's like 8 pages and it will explain all the scanner types and you will understand which type you need for what you need scanner for. Also in description is linked to download. Next difference between expensive and cheap OBD2 scanner is how useful it is if you have to pay subscription and you decide not to pay. So there are a lot of these bidirectional Bluetooth adapters that come with similar functionality like scan tools and you have to pay subscription. For scan tool you also have to pay subscription but it works a little different. So for example if I buy this Mooker driver scan, it is about 60-70 dollars I believe. First year I have free because I bought the device and then from second year I have to pay about 50 dollars per year. If I decide I don't want to pay, all functionality will be locked and only way I can use this is as traditional engine code reader, so work only with engine module, nothing more, no service procedures, no full scan, no bidirectional testing, only reading codes and live data from engine. And then scan tools, this is also with subscription, almost all scan tools have subscriptions. There are very few exceptions, one is actually linked in that scan tool article below video in description. But for this I got 3 years of updates for free. So I spent 320 for tool and 3 years I got free. But then if I decide not to pay, I still can use all functionality. Some scan tools can have some fault code libraries or information libraries and they usually stopped working if you decide not to update, but I can still use scan tool with latest software I got after the 3 years. So I still have fully functional tool, I can do full scan, connect to any control module, service procedures, ECU coding, all of that will work. So in 3 years of using, this will cost me still 320, but this costs 70 for adapter, first year free and then 2 years 50 and 50, so together it is 170. Now let's say I will use both for 2 more years, this I can continue using without paying, I still have good software. For this it would already cost me 270 and after 5 years this is 320 and this is 320 as well. So in the long run these cheap scanners but with subscription can become more expensive. And that brings me to my next point. How easy is to sell tool? So what about if you don't need your scanner anymore or you want to update to better tool? Very hard to sell adapters like this. Whether it is with subscription, without subscription, it is just adapter. So you will hardly get any money back. Most people would prefer just buy new one. However, over the years I had few scan tools and actually I sold most of them for a very good price. For example, I had Top Don Artidiac which cost about 400 new and I sold it for around 300 so I only lost 100 for one year. Other than I had Xtool D5 I got for free but it cost like 150 and just for fun I put it on marketplace for 200 and it sold like in one week. So using it for a few months and when I sold it I even made some extra money on top of that. So if scanner is built in tablet it is more expensive but also easier to sell. So when you decide to upgrade you can get most of your money back. So if scanner seems expensive, always think about how expensive or cheap will be in the long run. For example, if you will use it for 2-3 years and then you should decide based on that. But this is general differences between expensive and cheap OBD2 scanner and whether you are looking for any type of tool. I have lists of bests for literally every type you can think of and it is also linked in description.